What is apartheid? Zionist talking points will tell you it's whatever existed in South Africa, and anything outside of that is not apartheid. Let's dispel that myth. The term apartheid is an Afrikaan term for separateness and was adopted by the white Afrikaner nationalists who came to power in South Africa in 1948. For nearly five decades, South Africa was marked by an apartheid regime that finally experienced its fall in 1994. However, South Africa is not the standard for what apartheid is. It's merely an example. Ultimately, the cornerstone of apartheid is intentionality. The intention here being to establish and maintain racial domination. This racial domination must exist within a context of an institutionalized regime of systematic oppression. This is the definitional standard of apartheid. It's important to note that apartheid is a crime against humanity and is prohibited under customary international law. This means that states are bound by the convention even if they are not parties to it and must therefore adhere to its obligations. Since Israel's establishment in 1948 until 1967, the Palestinian citizens of the state have lived under martial law and subjected to institutional discrimination. They experience inferior services and limited budget allocations and are subjected to restrictive zoning laws, among other things. Palestinians are citizens in Israel, but they're not nationals of the state and therefore not afforded national rights. Israel has officially constitutionalized apartheid by defining itself as the nation state of the Jewish people. Under Israeli law, self-determination is unique to the Jewish people. Jews born anywhere in the world can come to Israel and obtain immediate citizenship, whereas Palestinian refugees are prevented from returning. Palestinians in Israel are the real demographic threat to the racial identity of the state and Israel will prioritize preserving a Jewish majority over ensuring democracy. We have an international standard that defines and identifies apartheid, and it is our job to dismantle the Zionist narrative of evasion and trivialization and emphasize the realities on the ground.